Hey guys, HTV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have more updates to go over about this new rumored Nintendo Direct which is apparently going to be taking place this month. Now previously it was stated to be taking place this Wednesday on the 15th of June but now more information has come out talking about how it might have been pushed back or that it was never going to be on the 15th of June and now it's going to be on the 29th of June. Loads of stuff to cover. We're going to be talking about it today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have more information about this new Rubin Nintendo Direct happening this month. Now, of course, we usually get Nintendo Direct during E3 in June, but of course, E3 has also been cancelled this year. So now, all the big game developers have kind of just been popping off with their different events throughout this month. And Nintendo has been shrouded in a lot of mystery lately. Now, previously, it was said to be on the 15th of June. Samus Hunter, who is, you know, I guess an insider, said that it was going to be taking place on the 15th of June. We also had that leaked email saying that it was going to be taking place on the 15th of June. But now, we've had more information, which is apparently concrete. Again, not confirmation, but concrete evidence to suggest that it's actually going to be taking place on either the 28th of June or the 29th of June. So this was posted by Direct Feed Games, saying the information is accurate. The window of airing is either June 28th or June the 29th, may depend on time zone slash regional location. It was never planned for the coming week. It's been slated for late June for many, many weeks. This is not the result of a delay. It's as planned. So, I don't know. Delaying things like this is very, very difficult. So, for, to me, it was just never planned on the 15th of June. Um, so all that information about it being on the 15th of June, you know, from Samus Hunter, I mean, it really hurts her credibility because she was like, it's definitely happening now, um, especially when she saw that like leaked email. Um, the leaked email is a little bit of an interesting one because that apparently was legit. So I don't know what the situation is with that. But apparently now it is going to be taking place on the 28th or the 29th of June. So this was posted by Go Nintendo tweet saying, rumor, very strong evidence points to a Nintendo Direct on June the 29th, 2022. So this is the article written about it. Again, it's not confirmation. It's kind of hard to say confirmation now because again, it was very, very likely to be taking place this Wednesday. It doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, it still could, but it still does not seem to be the case now. Um, but even if it's like very strong evidence, it doesn't suggest that it's definitely confirmed because again, we got a leaked email about a 15th of June Nintendo Direct, which again, it does not seem to be happening anymore. But anyway, rumor, very strong evidence points to a Nintendo Direct on June the 29th. Now the 28th and the 29th are Tuesday, Wednesday. So again, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's going to be this Wednesday um, or, the when or next Wednesday. It's going to be the Wednesday after that. So again, we've still got a few weeks to go until this Nintendo Direct. But that also means that we might also not be getting a Nintendo Treehouse as well, which again, would be a good place to showcase new Pokemon content like we got with Sword and Shield, Nessus Gym, Impidim, Yampa, all those were revealed in that Treehouse because Samus Hunter said we were going to get a Treehouse. But again, her credibility is kind of taking a bit of a hit now. I can't really say that everything that she said was like legit now because, well, it wasn't apparently anyway. It depends. If we get a 15th of June Nintendo Direct, then fair play, but it doesn't seem like we're going to. She's also kind of backtracked a lot of what we what she said as well, which we're going to go over later on. But anyway, while June is typically the month where E3 takes place, there's no official E3 convention this year. That said, plenty of other game devs slash pubs have been showcasing games via their own presentations or offering up reveals to various gaming outlets. Uh, there have been over 10 different gaming presentations this month so far, and a few more are slated for this week. Unfortunately, none of them are coming from Nintendo. The Big N has remained absolutely radio silent about any sort of Nintendo Direct happening this month, but today we have our best evidence yet that something is planned to happen before June wraps up. So Alana Pierce, former game journalist in IGN, Rooster Teeth, and Fun Horse, I don't know if I said that right, I've never even heard of that, and current game writer Sony Santa Monica hosted a live stream today to share her thoughts on the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. After she was done talking about that event, she made quick mention of other events coming up. This is when Alana noted that a Nintendo Direct is coming on June the 29th, 2022. This mention caught some people in her Twitch chat off guard and they asked for clarification. Pierce went so far as to double check her calendar to reconfirm the, tw uh, the 29th of June date 
She also noted that she didn't get this information from Nintendo themselves, but with Alana's many years spent in the game industry on both the press slash dev sides, it's easy to guess that an insider source shared it with her. Just to be clear, Alana doesn't seem to present this information as speculation. She comes off extremely confident in this Nintendo Direct happening, and I'd say she's quite a trustworthy source. If you want to see her discussion, you can find the snippet through the link at the 20, uh, 2 hours 8 seconds or simply watch it below. So this is her just talking about how we were going to get a Nintendo Direct on the 29th of June, which again seems to be quite confident as well in this information uh, because obviously we had Samus Hunter saying that it was happening on the 15th of June. 22 hours ago though she posted saying several people have written to me about a possible direct delay. My information about the status of this conference goes back to the end of May. If I can I will try to update you on the situation in time. What I can tell you is that early next week Nintendo will finish the marketing cycle of Mario Kart's DLC 1 and the presentation of Tyon, the remaining playable character from Xenoblade 3. These two things were scheduled before the release of the game's related trailers that will introduce new elements to the game's marketing campaigns. Several titles were also scheduled to appear in showreels as reminders of their upcoming release, and although their dates have already been announced, Nintendo often plans to repeat them in its conferences, and yes, Silksong will not be, uh, not be long in coming. There are also small announcements scheduled in the Direct, such as the Live A Live demo and a video that will quickly introduce Mario Strikers updates, reminders on the start of the comp uh, competitive season. We're also close to the announcement of the new N N Nintendo 64 game. In addition, there are third-party agreements that guarantee the Direct this month. Ubisoft and Square Enix have not made their conferences pointing to those of other publishers, and therefore the games that ha they have made agreements with Nintendo will have to appear at the Direct. So with that, I hope to have clarified the situation. June is a rich month with three major games coming out, being Strikers, Fire Emblem Warriors, and Sunbreak. Many conferences taking up daily slots, and at the end of the month, there will also be the conference with investors. Direct release windows are not that many, so I see a delay from what has been planned in previous months as difficult, but I do not categor uh, categorically rule it out, as it Nintendo tries to target periods where it turns out to be the last conference after a long series of events. And then we have people replying to this, but if the Direct was scheduled for next week, shouldn't you have known already? I do not quite understand, which is obviously a very good question because, again, she's been saying it's been happening on June the 15th for a while now. Some Nintendo departments receive information about specific dates only a couple of days before the release, practically a few hours before the announcement is prepared, while other parts of marketing are handled weeks slash months in advance. So you don't expect it next week, but possible the week after. Old uh, information pointed to the new week, but lately I've been reading rumors from other sources of it being delayed. I'm having a hard time imagining it since there are many marketing aspects involved, but I don't rule it out given the high density of conferences. And then what makes you confident that Silksong is near? Last time I heard, the game was scheduled for a summer 2022 release. And then will there be a demo of Splatoon 3? And then uh, any news on Breath of the Wild 2? They can safely release a trailer even with a different voiceover depending on the region. And at the beginning of the year, it was on the schedule. But with the delay, I don't want to raise expectations by saying it will be there because at the moment I can't guarantee it. Again, she's saying delay a lot there, but I think that's just kind of to cover up the fact that she was potentially wrong because apparently like it was never delayed you know it was always planned to be at the end of the month and it is really difficult to delay something like this it's not just something they'll be like oh no we'll post it next week instead like they have to do so so many different things to delay like it's really really difficult so it does seem like um she was wrong and then of course this rumor was posted and she quote retweeted it saying yes i can now confirm it but expect some news and trailers for already announced games releasing soon on the Switch before that, the Live A Live. It wouldn't surprise me if they're going to release the demo before the Direct. Um, but then we've got people saying, you know, but there are shareholding meetings on that day. They do, so I don't know why people are saying it's going to be on that day. So again, even the 29th might potentially not be true now because they're not going to do a Direct on the day they do the shareholder meetings. It's just the whole situation, to be fair. Um, but again, apparently we're getting a direct this month but now i don't know you know 28 29 seems likely now you know that's what a lot of other people are saying like before it was just samus hunter saying the 15th of june and obviously the leaked email but now we've got like all these other accounts that are actually like you know nintendo news accounts saying that's going to be happening on the 28th or the 29th so this i feel like definitely takes a massive hit at Summer Hunter's credibility because again she was pushing so hard for this 15th of June release date and she convinced like a lot of people it was going to happen that date but now it doesn't seem to be the case at all and it seems to be actually happening on the 28th slash 29th of June and again as soon as this pops up 
she then says, you know, oh, I can now confirm it that it is actually going to be happening on this date. So, you know, she's now saying it's going to be happening later on. So even she's not saying it's going to be the 15th of June now. So it is a situation, you know, I, it definitely knocks her credibility. I'm definitely going to be taking everything she says now with a massive grain of salt. I guess until she gets more things right in the future uh, which kind of balances out the scales but yeah that's why you can't really always trust like insiders and stuff and again it's the same with insiders in the pokemon community we have insiders that get a lot of things wrong a lot of things right it's just one of those situations you know um but yeah i guess you always have to take this information with a grain of salt but either way it seems to be that we're going to be getting the june uh direct on the 28th slash 29th of june We'll have to wait and see though. However though, what is also interesting about this whole 29th of June situation is that that seems to be when the whole region name date kind of finishes for what Pokemon have been tweeting out about for the last like couple of months. So this was posted by Soul Silver Art saying, oh snap people, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet region name slash map incoming. First of all, I know Nintendo Directs don't reveal Pokemon news, but this countdown ending in the same day and Sword and Shield being showcased at last year's E3 Treehouse live makes me think that this is definitely happening. Scarlet and Violet promo has begun, um, so now the OP of the countdown has admitted they messed up counting some of the dates, but the countdown still ends up being on the 28th slash 29th of June. Check out this thread um, for more time to mark the calendars. So. Basically, this is what they're talking about here. So this is what Pokemon have really been tweeting out about like the last um, few months. So we went over this in literally last night's video. But yeah, Kanto was obviously on May the 4th. Uh, Johto was on May the 11th. Hoenn was on May the, 20, uh, May the 18th. Sinnoh was on May the 25th. Unova, June the 1st. Kalos, June the 8th. I think it was actually posted on the 9th or the 10th or something, but either way, it was posted around that date. Alola around June the 15th, and then Galar around June the 22nd. So they're obviously doing it in like every week. So now, June the 29th would be the day that the Scarlet and Violet region slash map will be revealed. And of course, that is the day where this new potential Nintendo Direct is going to be taking place. So again, it apparently is 100% legit. Again, it's Centro Lake saying the 100% legit is not because it's not been confirmed but it seems to be happening on june the 29th because of this massive source um and then obviously this uh, image here is N of nintendo samus hunter whatever um you know confirming that it does actually take place a little bit later again her credibility definitely took a bit of a hit but it is what she's saying um but again it's just relating to this thing here so potentially it could be some more scarlet and violet news in this i know i said earlier on in the video that the treehouse doesn't seem likely now because it was scott like um it was Samus Hunter talking about it and her credibility has been hit. But, you know, it could be a Treehouse Live where they talk about Scarlet and Violet, more information about it. Um, and then again, that's where the region is shown and stuff. So we might actually get some Pokemon news um, on that day. Again, it is just a theory at the moment just because of how this is kind of going. You know, they're just doing this every week. But it does line up. It does line up. You know, 29th of June, yeah, Scarlet and Violet, Nintendo Direct could be a Treehouse Live because Treehouse Lives do usually show Pokemon content again. Like I said before, we had Ness's gym, um, we had the reveal of Impidimp, we had the reveal of Yampa, all in the Nintendo Treehouse, and we also got the information about the decks being cut, which they just kind of slipped in there. Um, but yeah, I think that it is, um, it's, 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 I want to say likely, but, I mean, I don't want to say likely, but it seems, you know, potentially that we could be getting some good Pokemon news there. But anyway, yeah, just thought I would uh, also include that bit as well, because it, it just lines up really, really nicely. That's going to be everything for today's video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really does help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this Nintendo Direct. Do you think it is going to be happening late June? And also, what do you want to see in the Nintendo Direct? I know I've been making a bunch of videos about this Nintendo Direct, but, you know, every time there's updates, I feel like I need to make a video on it because I don't want the old information to, you know, be what people think. So that's why I wanted to make this one today. Hope it helps. Either way, you know... Subscribe if you're brand new. We're going to be live streaming it when it eventually does happen and we do get confirmation of it, but that's that's another day. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.